novellas Absolutely. versus novels. Mm. How do we feel about that? Because it, it, in, in it regards feels to like the advice writing or, or, or <laughs> brothelhood, kind of all of that encompassed into one, right? So, because a lot of the advice that goes out to indies is write a novella, write a bunch, um, so you can have. So you can build up your like resume of books, but also so you like, can pump out uh, books faster. There's that, and then they, they people say that like so the customer tend to like especially if you're a nobody author, they want to just get a quick read. So I mean, is is there any it, it, the idea truth the, behind the, that? The, the what they're what they're selling is like it's a taste test, and so they can spend less money, get a sample of your writing, mm. and decide whether they like your writing style or not. The problem is when you go from short for, shorter form to longer form, most people's writing changes whether they want it to or not. Because to yeah. fill out that kind of upper page count, even like to try to to try to write a pulp style novel that's like full length or epic fantasy length is untenable. That it, the style is meant to be short and punchy, and so to write three hundred thousand words of that. Is not would not only be exhausting to read, it would be exhausting to write. Yeah, I so I don't typically like novellas, and I got to take into account that I'm not the average person. But uh, so me, I don't like to read a novella unless it's a novella to a series that I, you know, I've read a few books of. Mm. And, you know, Stormlight's a good good example of that. I like the reading the novellas in Stormlight. It's but otherwise, it's already attached to the world that you love already, correct? Yeah, yeah. So it's a little short story in the in the world. Whereas in it's like reading a novella right off the bat. I'm like, that's not enough for me to get in. I need I need more to be to get in. I don't get yeah. invested necessarily right off the bat with stories. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I, I, I yeah. Can. I just no, come no, in. I like we, a short you story. and I have talked about this. You you like the shorter stories part? Yeah, because... man. Of the time it takes, right? Yeah, that's a big part of it, too. And if the stories are short, I can read more of them and get around to more authors and check more of out of what all's out there. And having my, my samples, as you put it, like the Costco of authors, just having samples here and samples there, trying this, I'm trying sorry. that. I just picture you like the girl in that meme, except instead of dudes, it's all these like little short like novella books. Anyway. <laughs> I don't have a witty retort for that um <laughs> that picture away my oh. friend um yeah i like the i like the novellas and i even i look at the um the longer books because i don't know is like at what page count or word count does it go from a novella to a, no, a novel and at some point there's got to be a third third level here anything under so i feel like there's a there's a no page spectrum after yeah. how yeah. many novella is usually between twenty thousand and forty thousand words that's double the length we need more we may need more increments in there to, to gauge like is well, your book what you grade level is it? Is it? Are we? You know, that's where I need to be at. You know, hundred minutes. That's a fantasy. <laughs> or hour long. Like, how, what's the uh, length of reading time? That sort of thing. I don't know. Because to me, it's I, just, so, just to make it fit in there. Hey, hey, again, it's like I don't want to give like advice to you know when I'm I'm the outlier, right? But it's just mm -hmm. like hey, again, a longer novel it tends to be you know, not that much more expensive than a than a novella, so. Sure. Yeah, the, would price, the price doesn't pencil out very well for novellas, but maybe that's the point. Like, oh, I'm making so much on, I'm making about the same amount of money on not selling a novel as I do on a novella. So if I just have a bunch of novellas, I can sell more. But like some, I, I think it depends. Like some, like it, it just depends on how how they write and where their strengths lie. Like uh, the Black Crown by John A. Douglas would not work currently reading yeah. as a novella. This is a thick. Oh. Ah. <laughs> but 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 would it work as several novellas and then you're actually made you know no 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 because no. then the story there the story structure is all messed up because then you basically have to create a, a mini story uh, a condensed story structure for each book all right which if you break like if you read stormlight each of those monster books is each part of it one part one through five is broken down like a book so it can kind of be done but it's just, yeah, it would feel like you're getting a, a, a like a third of a piece of pie instead of a piece of pie. You know, I feel saying? like this conversation kind of perfectly encapsulates encapsulates. You need both sides of it, really, because there's people like me out there that I'm like, I want something short. I just want a bite of something. Um, I want to listen to a song that's two minutes and forty seconds. We get in, we do our thing, we get out. 
And then there's some people that prefer like a symphony that is 30 minutes long and takes you on a journey and you can really sit down and really go places. And I'm, I mean, there's a time and a place for that. I have the black crown, but I look at it some days and I'm just like, I'm gonna have to read that at some point. It's going <laughs> it, to take me a long time. Honestly, have, having a book, if you have a big book, having it available audibly, like through it as an audible kind of experience or an audio book <laughs> makes a huge difference in readability. Cause I'm on the road a lot. That's how I read a lot of my bigger books. But uh, in the Real chat, quick. Herman brings up a good point. Right. A lot of I was just about to say, hail the chat. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Rapid release authors write short books, is what Herman says, and that's I, I would agree with that. And also, Anthony Rodonelli, welcome to the stream. Many Italians. Welcome. Hey, 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 Part of the familia, hey. hey. Pizzeria. Keep it about hey, oh, hey. I'm yeah, the my, only my, one my with a real Italian physique, though. I feel like this is not <laughs> 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 I look like I live off of noodle anyway. <laughs> and pasta and pasta and pasta. Oh, hey, have you ever tried topping your uh, carbs with carbs? Uh, have you ever yes, put grandma, pasta into I have. a sandwich? Thank I you. have. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. No. I again. I don't know what it is when I host the stream. Like my freaking comments don't work. I can't like. I know. Somewhere. And then when I host it, you are me. <laughs> yeah, that was funny though. That was good <laughs> I, stuff. I figured that out, dude. I was working through this like before the show, and <laughs> I'm. I couldn't get out of your like mode. I I can. Oh, you I had the ability account. to create streams. <laughs> yeah. Son of a. I said it was my account. I don't know. I was. So oh, it was a, so con- something annoying. something went re- whack. Yeah, yeah, but uh, to this, so I guess yes. Yeah, so to each their own, right? I guess maybe I don't know. I, I've well, heard more people take the novella stance. So if there's more people that are like me, then it's kind of like, hey, don't listen to one person saying like this is this is the way. Maybe it's I yeah. I see th- I see the temptation as both a reader and an author. Uh, mm-hmm. For the novella side, I think if the story is meant it, don't make a story that should be shorter. Do not make, do not force it to be longer. That mm-hmm. never works out. It always there makes a story go. bad. Um, so it like don't, and, but also don't shorten a, a story that you really need the time to tell properly, just to try to meet a word count in a certain kind of a goal. There, yeah, that's a good so, point. When whenever an author sits down, do they say, "I'm going to write a book." that thick or do they just sit down like i'm going to write a story and if it's this thick or it's that thick or this thick or that thick so be it i'm just writing a story Ladies, so i kind of did that you decide no i kind of did that write a my, big, my, big book well for my sci-fi because i was like i want to write, write epic fantasy epic. Uh, which i don't know why i wanted to do that for my first book it was just i don't think i really thought i was going to finish in under a year um but so Mine ended up being 130,000 words. So I, I respect I very, no very respectable. Good, oh, good amount of words. Yeah. How many pages uh, is that? I'm new to this scene. Well, it depends on the, the font and stuff. So, yeah, I know, yeah. but like ballpark, are we talking like 600 pages? How long is your book specifically? I guess is what I'm getting at. Uh, to me, like, yeah. oh, okay, that's reasonable. Four that's four reasonable. Four 600, yeah. And once we get past fours, I'm starting to be like, ooh, that's, that's, a, lot of, that's a lot of words. It's <laughs> a lot of paper. Spicy up in here. Now, now my fantasy, because it's a comedy, and I, I, I kind oh, of really? this. Yeah, so a ah. comedy fantasy, whereas in the, the, the first one is a grim, dark sci-fi. So very ooh. opposite. All right. Um, but the fantasy story being a comedy, I kind of feel like you tend to need to make those a little bit shorter to, you know, try to hit those jokes. Well, the, it, uh, it, like if you're going to be, if it's going to be funny, it has to be punchy, and it's very hard to do that long form. Yeah, so that one's about sixty or seventy thousand words or something like that. So that's a, so, that's a short read. I you think you might funny? be. The, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, uh, you went the opposite direction as uh, MD Boncher, uh, for another author friend of mine. He has the lo- the epic dark kind of fantasy, long form fantasy, and then the short, uh, short and uh, ch- uh, quick paced. A comedy sci-fi so like just the inverse mm. of what you have it's an interest interesting to see both <laughs> okay so there's yeah. a couple comedy writers to me i'm like I, comedy is my thing like that's i'm most interested in that i'm new to reading um fiction i i've read you know i read it back right. in school and stuff but non-fiction i read plenty of that but fiction just reading for fun like i'm gonna sit down and stare at a book for fun <laughs> oh that's that's something that's new to me so if i can sit down and have a laugh that's uh that's appealing so what what is the uh what's your what's your funny book? Where's the link? 
Where can I get it? Oh, it's not it's not available yet. I am oh, prepping. Right. prepping He's prepping, working prepping. on it, and 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 it's like a good joke. You have to wait for it. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I mean, I, 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 the problem is I had a kid, and then that kind of put things. <laughs> the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a problem. <laughs> oh, careful! Your wife's in the, your wife was in yeah. earlier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. No, I, I, it was finished before he came along, but then. After that, you know, there's a bunch of work that happens after you write the book. Gotcha. Yeah, you and your wife, Sometimes you, you finish two work. really big projects right around the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did most of the work on that that one project. <laughs> Hail Immortal Rising. We, Thanks for joining us, man. Hey, hey, Hail. hey how's it going? Uh, I need to get like a little clip for when people join Ahoy or something like that. I got, I got for when oh. people want to leave. This raises a uh, question I have for y'all while we're uh, talking about that real quick. Yeah. So, this is the uh, the Iron Seas, as it were, right? The Iron Seas. So, you Iron got people. Seaman. Okay, we're on the same page here. So, what do okay. you call yourselves or your fans? There's got to be, there's a branding opportunity. They're seamen. Like, there's a seamen? They're all seamen. That's yes. Not like ocean lads? See, no, no, no. They they can upgrade. So sea like, boys? We got a gilded that we're, that's not like public yet. Oh. We're going to get that set up. So, there's going to be two. Actually, you can upgrade. Too. You can be seamen. You can see him in semen first class, Lance Seaman. Hi, C Besties. Did you say Lance Seaman? <laughs> <laughs> Lance, Lance Corporal's a ranking. Oh, Court. Lord. How about you go, um, Seaman first class. You got <laughs> Sea Boys. You already got your island boys. You guys could be the next thing. You'd be the Sea Boys. <laughs> yeah, we could do yeah, okay, it. One more, more creative that. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I, was, I was thinking, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like you don't want to like come up with too many ideas for one thing and too many names but i was like oh man you know what that that you know that slug that has like an iron shell oh yeah you know what that, that yeah yeah yeah. Are, yeah love that thing it's called a scally foot and i'm like bro that's a that's an awesome i never actually knew what shit. it was called scally foot you get you could have like 50 different ranks <laughs> yeah. and have them separated by like 20 cents a piece yeah, yeah, or it's all the same, and you just have to pick <laughs> one you like, see what the winner is. Oh, speaking of, that's what I was going to say earlier. Whenever you're talking about the uh, the no novel versus novella, somebody did a poll recently. I saw on the internet, on uh, no on the on the X on the Twitter. Oh, I on forget Twitch. how many a poll there was. I saw it with my eyes on my phone, and I forget how many people voted on like it. But <laughs> whenever, um, I guess so. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it, so I guess I do. I uh, hey guys, I saw a poll on the right. internet. You I saw a poll it. on the internet, boys. That's it. Carry on. It was a it was a great poll. I forgot how people were in, but it was a fair amount. I want to say it was like 50 percent wanted novella, and then the I don't remember the, all the options. I think 20 percent was novel, and then another 20 percent was like super thick novel, or whatever you call that. Thick I, I think I I win polls the most. Uh, anytime there's a poll, I am on top of the poll. Your fake news. There was a 4 a.m. ballot dump. He's full of it. You wouldn't believe him. I saw. I saw your son using his poll on the internet. I don't want to hear you speak. It sounds like there's auto tune on it too, which is extra. Any poll extra that has been taken is absolutely fake news. Can't trust it. <laughs> so He's true. an imposter. I'm the real one. <laughs> oh. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, next for, topic, boys. Wait, 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 I, I wait, think wait. we. I, I, do, I do have a final thought on this one. Okay. Evely likes him short. Batsos likes him long. Every every man is Jesus, dude. I can't. I need to focus. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> every man. I enjoy what, both dude. short and long form fiction. If mm. the, if the author is really talented at a really talented author can can tell a very compelling, emotionally grounded story in a very short amount of uh time like a very small page count like think think of all the old uh fiction writers who started off like short form fiction think of the robert e howards and the lovecraft and um even some of the old like western like lewis lamore before he was writing full-length books he would do short stories for uh for western or short form western stories and then a few of the uh great romance authors were like that as well they had just had short romance stories if you, if you're very if you know your craft if you know how to tell a compelling story in very few words very good grammar very good kind of control of the pacing you can tell a very good story in a short amount of time that being said you need you you shouldn't alter what the story needs to be in order to fit a page count or a word count 
Let, let did... the story be as long or as, or as short as it needs to be to be its best. Yeah, yeah, I do see the appeal if you love a world, if you have a short book, you're like, man, it's going to be over fast. And then I got to wait however long for the next one, whereas a thick one, you get into it, it's like, all right, I found a good one. I'm going to be here for a while. So I get the appeal. Well, it's I like if, it. if oh, you're I, a I fan of epic it. fantasy, you 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 want to learn the lore. You want you don't want to be have it an info dump, but you do want to learn about like, oh, why do these <laughs> desert people fight one another and steal each other's goats and then worship it, the moon god? I thought we said world. lore dump, but the better term was lore spreading. I thought that's what we had. This lore dump just sounds like <laughs> a negative. Lord Info, spread lore spread. is in the comments. Spread the lore. <laughs> spread the lore. <laughs> Yo, but uh, but with info dumps, I will say a lot of people fear info dumps, and it look info dumps can be done very well. And yes, they can. Sometimes they just need to be done, and mm. when people avoid them, and you're just like you just just explain to me what's going on, give me a quick little verbiage, uh, like. You guys ever read Ready Player One? Yes. Yeah. Actually, yes. So, yeah. like, the whole first half of the book is is an info dump, and for the most, part, I enjoyed yeah. it. I like for some reason I enjoyed well, the like. Well, that that that's the rule. If you're, not, if you're not going to find a creative way to dump to like dump the uh, lore and info, make sure it's really interesting lore. <laughs> dump. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody say something about dumping. <laughs> Lois, I left a big dump on the uh, on top of the toilet. We call it an upper, an upper decker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm More sorry story, about what's happened a to good show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Did AC keep us on <laughs> on straight? Oh, yeah, I'm not going to help. I'm going to be like, off the rails, <laughs> speed uh, up. I, I, I think I'm upping it because Evelie's here. He and I already are like that a little bit. <laughs> Uh, like he and I have discussed this. Whenever there's a stream, there needs to be the stern mother figure in the stream, the person who always mm -hmm. like wrangles us back into on to, into on topic. Yeah, I guess that's you. So, that's awesome. yeah, <laughs> is it? That is you. you just watched a clip from our show, Sailing the Iron Seas. Check it out live every Tuesday at 9:30 Eastern. It's on multiple channels, so follow my Twitter at Batsauce to make sure you know where it is to see it live.